Everyone would love if their cat looked, felt, and smelled great all the time. Bathing does all of that, so why not bathe your cat? Exposure to water will strip the natural oils from your cat's coat, leaving it dry over time and potentially even itchy. We use this Whisker City product. This is a waterless shampoo. We can put it on his coat. It is safe for him to ingest and groom himself after, and it leaves him smelling fresh, but not too perfumey. I'm allergic to perfume and silky. Dexter is a short haired cat and generally doesn't need a lot of assistance grooming. However, sometimes cats get dirty and it's great to give them a fresh start to grooming. To help with shedding in between baths and to look super silky, we use this other Whisker City product. I just wipe this along his coat, then I give him a nice brush through and I wipe it once more. I find them to reduce Dexter's shedding for a few days at least. A brush. The shampoo, the in-between care, and a reward. Start by gently but thoroughly massaging the shampoo into your cat's fur. This may not be the best feeling for your cat and they may not love it at first, but it is a great alternative for them to water. Try to avoid your cat's face. If your cat has eye goobers, you can take a warm, damp cloth with a little bit of water on it and gently wipe it away. Once you're done rubbing the shampoo in, you're going to want to help your cat get rid of the excess shampoo. To do this, use a brush. For short-haired cats, look for a brush like this. However, if your cat's hair is long, you will want something that can reach the tangles, like this slicker brush. Also use a comb to find every tangle. Especially with thick or long-haired cats, you want to try to start brushing them from the bottom of their coat up. This will greatly reduce tugging and make the brushing easier for you too. <laughs> Thanks for watching.